what is going on youtube welcome to my channel this is garden with x if you haven't already hit the subscribe button damn look at my eggplant dang it's coming out well anyway that's not the the today we're focusing on as you guys can see summer is already almost coming to an end you can see my squash plant already giving out my max pumpkin already giving out my uh, eggplant managed to produce us one eggplant so I think it needs more space than that uh, I'll space it better next season but anyway this is my 16 week checkup on my pumpkin the vines did pretty good I vined out pretty good out here I was supposed to do a video yesterday but it was Labor Day weekend so I hit the casino had a couple of drinks and uh, woke up hungover so I didn't do a video instead I just rested and relaxed but today is Tuesday and this is my jack-o-lantern pumpkin at 16 weeks look you guys can see that my squash is still pretty much beat up but look it it's still producing so don't give up on your plants guys you know what I mean they do they do and even in hard conditions they give and they will keep you fed if you just water them and take care of them and all these old leaves throw them back into your pile because of course ah a little pokey you want all this stuff to compost inside your bin and uh crazy fire going on out there right now the El Dorado fire i believe it's called it's been raining ash a little bit over here it's been uh super smoky and not good but all right well but you know so this week for sure guys i know i've been lagging it i keep saying that i am i am gonna fix my bed i am gonna fix this bed i am gonna sow some more vegetables in here and we are gonna do the growing guys on them so bear with me you know appreciate the patience thank you very much i really so much appreciate it as you can see my 16 week pumpkin the stem right here is still pretty green so it is definitely not ready i'm gonna wait for that to brown up a little bit more it feels a little stiff a little sturdy uh it feels great uh, actually it's a nice looking pumpkin we did great on this we did amazing i love it i'm glad i'm gonna have a little pumpkin to carve because you know something we grew by ourselves pumpkin was something i wasn't sure i was going to be able to grow as well as watermelon and melon because they're just you know i feel like they take long they're big it's not like a small vegetable you know it's not like my squash is just coming and producing and producing these ones actually take their time the better you feed them the better you take care of them the more pumpkins you can get out of one vine uh one plant whatever i only managed to get one but you can see it's tied up in here it's not that much space it's enough space but not not enough they eat a lot so i'm pretty sure all the nutrients in there get drained pretty quickly and that's why i think i only produced one uh eggplant but it's gonna be a delicious eggplant and also same for my pumpkin maybe we could do some pumpkin pie or something but that's looking good but yeah guys so this is 16 weeks i kept it fed um plenty of water always give them plenty of water but don't over water you just gotta find the balance between your vegetable and see how much they actually need which ones do good and uh in um you know really wet soil and which is don't do some you know they need good drainage so you water them and the water comes out and runs off and it pretty much doesn't stay too too wet you know what i mean some some get club root and they don't like that they rot up like potatoes for example you can't be over watering your potatoes it's gonna rot your potatoes in the ground but that's for something else but uh yeah but you just find your balance and see what you can water and see how you should be watering it this is getting a little bushy over here now but look at it. it's been raining ash it's been dirt everywhere but yeah guys 16 weeks map come um jack-o-lantern pumpkin remember our max kind of died out but we do have this and remember i'm at 145 subscribers now once i reach 150 i have some mammoth sunflower seeds that i'm going to give away to three subscribers 
and uh, once I get to 150, I'll start doing, I start, you know, working in my raffle video or whatever or whatnot, and I'll see if I get you guys some seeds. You know, you guys want to grow some sunflowers for the upcoming season? You know, let me know. Sounds awesome. I have three giveaways, a little handful of seeds, and um, yeah, they're the mammoth sunflowers. You can check out my how to grow, how to grow, uh, harvest the sunflower seeds video. It should be like two videos uh, back or so. But you guys will see how big it is, how amazing it looked, and how this, how great the seeds came out. So at 150, I will be giving those away. 150 subscribers. But for now, thank you all for the support. You know, I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate your comments, your likes, your views, everything, you know. Don't be afraid to tell a friend and, uh, you know, share the channel. I love doing this. I just started this year. As soon as we had the first COVID shutdown, I decided to grow my own vegetables. And, you know, I'm not the best. I don't have the most space, but I'm learning. And, you know, welcome you guys to learn with me and uh, share share ideas, share, uh, you know, tips and tricks and whatever works best for our vegetables, right? Because we got to look for, look out for each other and we got to survive on this planet, right? Look at the little spider. So, you know, it's the best way to work together, guys. But you guys appreciate the love, appreciate the subscription. Thank you guys for sticking by. This will get better and the content will get better. Just give me a little bit of time. And, uh, yeah, guys, you guys got any suggestions on what vegetables you guys want to grow during the season, let me know. And we could do a week-to-week -week on that. But, yeah, guys, thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I drop a video tomorrow clearing out my beds and getting them ready. So, thank you all. And, uh, yeah, have a great day. Stay safe out there, man. It's crazy times.